everybody, this is John Burra from MammothInteractive.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you something a little bit about negative space. Now, negative space is a very awesome uh, graphic design technique that I like to use, and I'll talk a little bit about its aesthetics, and I'll talk to you a little bit on how you can implement in Photoshop. Uh, first thing you need is you need to open up Photoshop, and second thing you need is some kind of image or logo, okay? So let's go ahead and let's just make a new file here, and we come up with a new file, and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to make it maybe a thousand, uh, a thousand, you know, a thousand by four hundred looks good. So we have this nice new logo here, and um, you're going to go ahead and just push create a new layer. And uh, what this does is that this uh, makes something that you can edit it versus on the background. So I usually like to either hide the background or just completely get rid of it. Okay. So uh, what we'll do is we'll just push the G key to open up the paint can and we'll push this little arrow here and we'll make this background white. Okay. One more layer here and the more layers you have sometimes it can get a little bit confusing but what I like to do is I like to have a bunch of layers so that um, I can uh, make things efficiently. Okay. So what I'll do is I will make a box Box here, okay. And by the way, you can make this whole thing. Um, you can make this whole thing a uh, a a different color. Or in this case, I'm just going to make a box by selecting this tool here. And I'm going to double click on this, and I'm going to pick a dark gray color. And one of my favorite tips you can use as a graphic designer is to not use the standard black and white because they are overused. Just to use off black like this and off white, so sort of like more like a gray. All right, your eye does notice this little change. So I'm going to go ahead and push the G key and fill that in. Okay, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go to my logo here and I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it in here. Now, this logo is huge and in order to change that, you need to go to edit, transform, scale here. And I'm just going to push the shift key and this scales everything proportionately, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale this so that this fits in right here, okay? So I'll just make sure everything fits in here. and then there there we go, you can size it appropriately. Again, pushing the shift, make sure that there is no loss of resolution or any kind of uh, uh, squishing like that. All right, so I'll just push uh, Control or Command Z, depending on if you're Mac or PC, push Enter, and there we go. Now, um, this is actually really cool. What you can do here is if you push the Control or Command key, uh, you'll highlight everything within that. Um, highlight everything within that layer and you'll select the other layer that you want to subtract from and you're just going to go ahead and push delete. Now we'll go ahead and hide, hide this first layer here and there we go we have negative space. So first things first negative space is where you subtract something instead of add something. Now in order to make your project it doesn't matter whether it's an app or it's um, it's an app or an image or anything, you can either add things to it to make it better or you can subtract things. And I have a ton of tutorials on how to do this within, uh, let's say, if you want to make apps or any kind of web development, because I love this subtract, subtractive, um, this subtractive process. Uh, the less you can, uh, sometimes if you take away, it's actually better than adding, especially in the world of app development, because uh, when you take stuff away, that means less resources used on your, let's say, your mobile phone or whatnot. So as you can see here, um, this right here is subtracted from. Now, uh, the Japanese, there's a Japanese word called ma, which uh, is essentially this, uh, this process here. And if you listen to traditional Japanese music, there'll be a long, for example, uh, line of, of music, and then there'll be a huge space, right? And of course, the, the ma mean, means nothingness here. So as you can see, that is a subtractive, um, you can see it's subtractive and it works out quite well. So I love this, um, I, I love the subtraction process and you can do it too. Now, another thing you can do is let's just go ahead and let's add another layer and I'm just gonna uh, get rid of this here and I'll do the exact same thing. And by the way, when you do the same thing two or three times to practice, um, it's actually really good for you. Uh, if you're, let's say, a musician, an actor, or an athlete, you'll know that repetition is important. Well, when you learn technology, it's the exact same way. So what I'll do is I'll push the text uh, button here, and I'll change the color to an off-white. And, um, and we can use any font here, but one of my favorites is this font called Bangers. And I'll change the size up to maybe about 60 here. And you can say this is awesome, or whatever you want to do, or you can say, um, learn technology at and then I'll push uh, what I'll do is I'll actually make a whole other text line here uh, 
mammothinteractive.com. Okay? And then I'll just move it around here, something like this. And I'll put my logo at the bottom here. Okay? And we'll just go ahead and highlight this. And we'll go to Edit, Transform Scale, pushing Shift, of course. And I'm just going to go and maybe put that down here, something like that. Okay? Um, in fact, what we'll do is we'll take out the, the mammoth here, all right? So this is all has a point, but a lot of people wanted it to, uh, to know how to subtract text, and that's why I'm doing this here. So I'll just go ahead and I'll just undo that, and I'll zoom in by pushing the Alt button, okay? And I'll select the Marquee tool, and I'll take out all of this here just by pushing Delete. And make sure you're on uh, the layer that you need to be here, and we'll just make sure that we take away everything without taking away any of the logo and you'll see what I'm gonna do in terms of this negative space here alright and I will there we go okay so this all has a point so let's put this all back here okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this all the way to the bottom here okay so we do the exact same process uh, for uh, learn technology or any text is you just push the control or command and if you push shift control you can actually select both of these so both of these are selected you can actually um, you can actually you know hide them here and if you select the layer that you want to subtract it from you just simply push delete and there we go okay let's do the exact same thing here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push uh, delete and we'll hide that here. And what I actually really wanted to do is have this, um, you can see that there's a little bit of a, a, a bottom here. Uh, there is that little bit of black here, it looks a little bit sloppy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna undo that here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this, uh, this down just a little bit and I'm just gonna push there we go and if you push control uh, it doesn't snap so I'm just gonna put it something like that okay and what I'll do is I'll put these back here and you can see that there is a selection here so let's go select all these three layers two and three there we go by pushing the shift of course and let's hide them all and what we'll do is we will just simply push subtract and here we'll just push delete alright now this looks a whole bunch better uh, because there isn't that little line there that looks really cool and that is really uh, what negative space is all about here now uh, what you can do is you can add in a texture in the background or you can even add in any kind of color uh, so let's just go ahead and put orange because I love orange here and um, if you just push the G key here, you can see that you can uh, just make it whatever color you want. And of course you want to uh, test with all different kinds of colors, because remember colors uh, do give a certain kind of, um, of reaction to whoever is viewing them, so we can even do pink or stuff like that. And this all looks really cool, and just by pushing the G key uh, it, it works here. And it actually works really well with let's say a concrete or a wood texture as well. All right. So I have tons of tutorials on this subject, especially if you want to learn how to make apps or games or stuff like that, uh, you can go to mammothinteractive.com, you can see the links below, and uh, there's a ton of tutorials there on this subject here, alright? And so that is a tutorial on negative space. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.